joy, happiness, humble, kind, loving. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about is motivation. It is the motivation I'm going to be talking about is loving yourself. And what I'm going to be looking at is my tablet that I'm going to be looking at to, you know, to refresh my mind to say what I need to say about this topic. And I have like my snacks or whatever to water, you know, to keep me, you know, hydrated as I'm doing this message. So today is the message is loving yourself message introduction motivation is a speech or word that encourages you and uplifts you and keeps you going and motivation speech or the message i want to send out today on this beautiful day is love when you know you are loved and when you know you love yourself you are so much happier and nothing can't stop you but you might have some tough you might have some trials because god didn't promise us a free trouble life. He promises us that he'll be right there when things get rough and give us peace. And we have tests in our lives. And the toughest time in your life is where you become stronger. But this whole message I'm just going to talk about is love. About loving yourself. I'm going to go into full kind of detail but not as much details. But the meaning of love it is a tense feeling of deep affection and love. Scripture of love. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 6. Amplified version. This is like the best scripture like that stands out for this loving message. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 6. Amplified version. Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful and is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not provoked, nor overly sensitive and easily angered. It is not taken into account of wrong endured. It is not rejoiced and unjust, but, in, but rejoices with the truth when right and when right and truth prevail. But these are the points that I I picked out of the scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 6, Amplified Version, what I just read. This is like the bullet points that I picked out of the scripture. Love is not jealousy, envy, hatred, rude, or arrogant. Love is peace, joy, happiness, humble, kind, loving, thoughtful believes all things that can happen you know rejoices with truth patient serenity and those are all the things that love is and love is not but god the way god loves us this is the scripture and first john 3 18 to 20 message first my dear children let's not just talk about love we don't just need to talk about love. We need to do it. We need to practice real love. This is the only way we'll know we are living, truly living in God's reality. It's also the way to shut down delivering self-criticism. Even when there's something to it. For God is greater than our weary hearts. And knows more about us than we do ourselves. God knows what we're going to think before we even think it. He knows our hearts. He knows He knows everything. God is just a good God. You know, He knows. But the message I'm trying to say is loving yourself is important. Number one, first is love is God. Number two, second, loving yourself. Number three, loving others. But the main two points I am going to be focusing on today is first, love is God, and second, loving yourself. Number one. But number one, God loves us so much 
in John 3, 16 through 17 message. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son, and this is why, so that no one needs to be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. And what God means by a whole and lasting life is meaning a joyful, a happier life, a wonderful life, a blessed life. And God didn't go to all trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger. Who? Accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help. To put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is equipped. We, make mu- we may make mistakes, which we do make mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect in this world. Ain't nobody perfect in this world. If you think you perfect, please tell me what you do to be so perfect. Please tell me. But all I'm trying to say is, ain't nobody perfect in this world. Everybody made mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. Everybody, when I say everybody make mistakes, I even make mistakes. I, I'm not perfect. I can tell you, I can tell a lot of stuff about myself that, you know, testimonies and everything. But I'm going to let y'all know, I am not a perfect per- person. And, you know, I don't see myself as a perfect person. No. I can try. You know, I can try to be perfect, you know, but I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? But he came to help to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. We may make mistakes, wrong ways, or any kind of things. But God forgives us, and you are his child. And the reason why God forgives us because he loves us, and he understands, you know? That we we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect, you know? And Romans 5 8 says, Amplified version. But God clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Number two. Second is loving yourself because you might not like yourself or love yourself because of what someone said or what your boss or a co-worker, or a friend, or anyone said, or insecurities about yourself, body or faces or features. Things that could help you. Things that could help you, you know, love yourself more and to, you know, to think on things that are good and positive. And those things are praying. Praying is when you make a request known to God and you believe and you hope for it to, you know, come. And, you know, when you pray, you are, you know, asking God to help you with certain things. And you are forgiving people and you thanking him. And you you can repent. Repent is when you, you know, you have done something wrong. And you asking God for repentance and to help you not to do it again. And when, when, you, when you forgive, when you forgive, when God forgives you, he forgets about it. So, you know, don't try to keep, you know... When you pray, when you pray, don't try to, you know, keep bringing up the same, you know, thing that happened. Because God has already forgotten about it. Because God just wants you to know that he wants you to trust that he already already forgave you. And he wants you to, you know, trust that it's already done and already forgiven, you know. And the second thing, worshiping. When you worship God. You are, you are thanking him for what he has done and who he is and, and what he has done in your life. And you are, you know, just thanking him. And and how you worship God is like, I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. I thank you, Lord God, for, you know, being in my life. I thank you, Lord God, for, you know, protecting me from all hurt, harm, and danger. I thank you, Lord God, for every little thing and bitty thing in my life because... Even though, you know, even though, but worshiping is, you know, thanking him and, you know, giving him all the glory and praise and honor. That's what worshiping is. Gospel music. Gospel music can help motivate you and keep you uplifted as well and keep you smiling and, you know, help you to get through the day as well. But that is what gospel music is. 
you can listen to any type of gospel music and your lungs, you know, it helps you, you know, keep you going. Yeah. And the Bible. The Bible, it gives us, you know, knowledge. It, helps, it gives us knowledge and wisdom and help us, you know, to correct us if we're wrong and if it corrects us if we're wrong and it you know gets us on the path where God wants us to you know what what God path is not our path not nobody else's path but his path and when you you know read the Bible it renews your mind on what God says about you and what he wants you to do in your life and the other thing is something that makes you happy the right way you know do things that make you happy, you know. Don't try to, you know, make somebody else happy and you're not happy, you know, with, you know, doing it or whatever. Or you're not happy and you trying to make somebody else happy, you know. Make yourself happy because that are, those are the most important things. Making yourself happy and loving yourself. And also, thinking about positive things and good things at all times. No matter what, if you are having a bad or good day, you know, always think positivity and the good out of everything. Saying positive things to yourself in the mirror three times a day, like you can say, you are great, awesome, beautiful, wonderful, kind, loving, a good person, trustworthy, patient, forgiving, successful, unselfish, easy to talk to, Encouraging, bold, strong, sensitive, lots of fun, a blessing, healed, completely, spirit, soul, and body, a leader, full of joy, favored by God and man, resilient, a champion, a peacemaker, a winner, an overcomer, victorious, a king, a queen, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, delivered from the power of the evil one. More than a conqueror, wise, knowledgeable, excellent, noble, happy person, dependable, funny, a promise keeper, appreciated dearly, loved, loyal, the apple of God's eye, prosperous, content, peaceful, righteous, friendly, a friend of God, thankful, amazing, you rest in the Lord daily, holy, have impacted it, protected by God and his angels, a person of destiny and purpose, a person of great per perseverance, things through Christ which strengthens, things through Christ which strengthens you, the head and not the tail, above and not only beneath, you come behind in no good things, the present favor and the super, the favor, the favor and the spirit of God is upon you everywhere you go. You are super exceptional, you care, you are reasonable, you are nice, you are a warrior, marvelous, remarkable, fantastic, neat, outstanding, and terrific, sensational, phenomenal, and you have a great smile. And those are all things you can like think on and meditate on, you know, by standing in the mirror three times a day, morning, night, and morning, evening, and night. You can say those in the poem. Um, in the mirror and also remember that your good days outdo your bad days just think about it you have more good days than your bad days because your good days outdo your bad days but also another thing once you start thinking good about yourself then that's when you will begin to say it and when you say it you begin to you will begin to start to believe it. Thoughts. Stop and think. And think what you are thinking about. Is it good? And if it's good, keep thinking about it. And if it's negative or, you know, not good for you, and taking too much of your time, cancel it. Stop it. Thinking about it, and if bad thoughts come to your mind, cast them out because that's not who you are you are a child of God the most high God the Bible but God but God the key word but but God created us all unique unique and beautiful 
But God said some amazing things about us and wants you to know. And when you look at what the Bible says about you, you begin to let God to transform you the way He thinks and uh, the, way, the way He thinks about you and all those insecurities and thoughts and other feelings about what others say about you and what they did and what they do and what they think or say about you. you yourself or what you think about yourself. You are going to go, you are going, you are going to, it's going to go away because you know what God says about you and you know the truth and God love, you know the truth and God words and the only words that only matter is God. But when you begin to meditate on the love of God and what he says about you, love and what he says about you, you are going to be a whole different person when you meditate on what God says about love and what he says about you. About you. Hey because I'm back. My camera died on me. So I had to get my other camera or whatever. But where I left off is where love and what he says about you, you are going to be a whole different person because things and thoughts won't get you down or overwhelmed. Because you know the truth about what God says about you. And this might take some time depending on how long you have let those thoughts linger into your mind. But no matter what, I promise you, I promise you, it will get better. If you do these things and trust that God really loves you and keeping your head up and smiling and speaking positivity over your life and also and also you are renewing your mind when you read the bible and the bible is wisdom and knowledge and to help us in our everyday life and give us wisdom knowledge understanding correction truth and more but the topic i was focusing on today was love loving yourself because it is the most important thing about you know yourself is loving yourself and know how to love yourself and know who to love and know who loves you you know because God loves us and he wants you to know that and remember motivation is a speech or word that encourages you and uplifts you and keep you going and the message I wanted to send out today on this beautiful day is love. And you know, no matter what, you know, no matter what, what people say, you know, people going to talk, people going to say, do, and think, you know, just remember what God says about you. And remember that, you know, remember to always think good and positivity and remember what God says about you. But that is the end of this video. I hope y'all like it. Please like, comment. And subscribe on either one of these sides and make sure the notification button so when I make a video you'll be able to you know see the notification on your phone or on YouTube and it will show you you know that I made a video but I hope y'all like the video that's the end and that's the end of the video. Okay, y'all, I'm done. But y'all, I love y'all. Peace out. I hope y'all like the video. That's it. The end of the message. I just thank God for everything that he has done for me. And if you need a prayer or anything for me to pray for you or, you know, or want me to pray for you, make sure you comment down below as well. And, you know, I will put my email or Snapchat or Facebook in the description. And you can, you know... Come, come in prayer down below with your name and email me or text me on Snapchat or Facebook and tell me what prayer you need, prayer, what prayers you want me to pray for you about. And I will pray, pray for you. But yeah, I hope y'all liked it. You know, please like, comment, and subscribe. But this is the end of the video. Love message. I really loved it. I hope y'all loved it as well. But we're out, J2.